So we're gonna compose this. First of all, let's let's just run it. Let's just run it and see what we get. Um, this is main, right? So. So from this uh, nested array, we get we get an array of objects in this structure. So name, age, address, and then that. Okay. So that's so we have basically we have like this nested array, and then we get these objects out of it, an array of these objects. Okay. So the way we do this is by first um, flattening by first flattening the inner arrays and then we'll have an array of flattens or array of flat arrays and then we're just going ahead and basically introducing the key value pairs for each index as we go so the first will be name it will be mapped to this age and then address street will be that city address city and then address coordinates lat coordinate long boom boom uh okay so the way we're doing all of that is this is so this is the kind of let me just separate this a little bit this is the kind of build uh, this is this is the thing that will give the flat array some structure so you're just kind of looping over the data starting at index zero and then <clears throat> setting the name equal to the index and then incrementing it and then doing the next one increment 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 until it's until you got the last one and um in order to get the array flat we're going to um, pass it to a uh, an array flattener, which is looking like uh, this here. So it'll take any array and reduce it. I'll take the accumulator and the value, and it'll say if the value is an array, then then concatenate. Well, you're gonna you're you're going to concatenate with the accumulator either way. Either if it's not an array, then you're just going to you're gonna concatenate with the value, which is the same as like saying push. Except, um, yeah, I guess we could say just we could just say push here, but. Um, If you well, if you push something, this is going to like actually return, like implicitly return. So if you were to push the value, then it's going to return um, an index rather than the accumulator. So you'd have to do extra work. So we're just saying concat the value. I mean, you just add the value, append, like append basically. This is kind of this works the same as, as push basically. But uh, yeah, so if if the value is an array, if it's a nested array, then we're going, to, we're going to concatenate the the nested array by calling flatten array again, and whatever the value comes back from here, it'll it'll just keep looping through until it's not an until it's not an nested array, until it's a regular value, and then it'll, it'll, it'll return the concatenated or added value here. So that will loop back and give you the answer or give you the, the uh, the flat version of this. So it'll just keep, keep on, just keep on running through it until you've reached the end of the nesting, and then give you the flat one. So that's what the flat array does. And then compose takes a variable number of functions, calls them one after the other 
by reducing them and using the previous value in the function. This is like an accumulator actually. And you're passing the accumulator or the accumu accumulated value to the, to the function starting out at x. So x is whatever, whatever is passed in, whatever data values is passed in, it'll start there and then it'll accumulate as you pass that data into the function and whatever is returned will be accumulated and then the next function will operate on it. So if you have like a map filter and reduce in, in succession, that's what this will do. Um, okay, so the curry function basically says if you have a, a function with more spaces than there are um, arguments passed in, then you um, then you go ahead and bind it in order to partially apply. Otherwise, call, call it or apply it here. And that means just pass the argument in with all of its functions and return the data back. So when we, we create a mapper function, which is gonna take a function and the outer array Well, I'm referring to this as outer array because I meant it only for flattening this, but I'm actually using it twice. I'm actually using it twice and I could just say data array instead of outer array probably. So we can do this and option. I think I could go like I think I'll just say escape insert and just say date. Escape insert. I really hate uh, Vim. Escape insert. data array okay um, and so we're gonna curry over uh, what would I say yeah map is basically it's a map function which can be partially applied so that's what curry means so it's gonna take this uh, map is gonna take the function to use as the you know the thing to do with in the map as well as the data array over which you will do the operation excuse me flatten is uh, going to call a flatten array with an argument and that'll be passed into the map and we're also going to um pass in that build object, this function here, into the map as well. Because this is going to operate on one single flattened inner array at a time. So we're gonna map over, um, <laughs> we're gonna map over the whole array of arrays and for each item called build object. So this, this is going to get called for each one of these. So compose is, um, or composer rather is, is calling compose the map flatten and map build object function. So it's mapping twice. And I think we went over Compose already, didn't we? Let's see. Compose is, yeah, it 
reduces it basically pipes the um, the functions what it goes it it takes the argument X which is the data and it takes the list of functions which is map the flatten and then comma map builder so those are the two functions it takes and then the data is what it'll is what it will be input that it'll be operating on and it'll say x is the starting point of the data and it'll say okay for each you know item uh for each like um value and function we'll call the function with the value so the value is going to be the data passed in is it going to be the array of arrays so you're going to have the the array of arrays just raw it's going to be an array of nested inner arrays and you're going to call that flatten function on it so it's going to flatten those inner nested arrays and then just return to the accumulator it's going to return a an array of flat arrays and then so that's the first reduce and then the next reduce is going to work on that array of flat flattened arrays with the uh, the next map function, which uh, builds. Right? So it's going to it's going to um, map over that array of flat arrays and for each item. It's going to build so that's going to um, give you the accumulator and that's what compose returns so um yeah so this is main let's go ahead and just run this okay so that's what we get back and then let's go ahead and uh, uh, let's go ahead and uh, F5 this bad boy. Okay. Alrighty. So we can watch some stuff. I guess we won't, probably want to watch. Um, one of the most interesting things to watch in here would be like probably the flatten would be interesting to watch perhaps. Um, the compose might be interesting to watch. Might want to look at that and look at V and F maybe. What is it? Did we get it? V. F. Okay. V and F and then AC and VAL might be interesting. these do these will be quick all right okay so this is currying this is gonna say okay how did we apply these we said uh, well we're console logging the so the anonymous function is the well okay I guess the composer so we're gonna first partially apply the map flatten and the map build object function so that's going to take us up to curry it's going to bind it's going to return a bound uh, function with the args so that means we're going to have map with uh, flatten partially applied and then it'll take one more argument which is the data all right so map flatten has got uh, a map with the flatten function scopes it's got a global scope a flatten array oh, excuse me of Dino and then a module scope of flatten array um, you know it's curried it's got data 
it knows about it knows about data and all that and the flatten arrays <clears throat> array reduce concat all that so it's it's got it's got the flatten array um, bound to it so it's it's aware of that okay so we're gonna do the same thing this time for the um, map over the uh, map over the um, builder so so the build object the map for the build object so now it's aware of the the curry and well I guess flatten array as well all right okay so now the composer so um, the anonymous function, well, okay, excuse me. It was a compose to begin with, but the compose then um, is being passed these values. So these values were pre-established, so it were binding the map to flatten, binding the map to build object, and then calling them in succession in the compose. So now we're gonna write up, write up here to the uh, compose takes x and you want to know what x is okay um, that's not x will not have been called yet we want to know what functions are too f and s okay. so x will not have been called until here this is x so this is composer we're partially applying the compose function with map uh, map flatten and map build object and then we'll have a composer which has a a function returned which will take the data and then do the work on it in succession first map flatten then map build object okay so yeah let's go back up here So our functions are our two functions, the bound function of map flatten, flatten, and then the bound function of build. Okay, so there's our functions. Uh, v and F, uh, for some reason, not, not picking that up. All right, well, okay. So we've got these compose, composer, curry, data, function, flatten, flatten array, map, and this undefined. Okay, so let's call the composer with the data. So this is gonna be the second argument. So we'll go back to compose and we're gonna call functions reduce. So what is functions? Functions is those two maps those two map calls that are bound and we're gonna reduce meaning loop over and accumulate so let's see if we can pick up V and F now here we got V and F okay value value is those two arrays John and Jane Doe is the is the values so it's all the data and then the function is going to be the first function which will be the flatten okay so we're gonna call flatten on the um, the multi-dimensional array of nested arrays, so we want to flatten these nested arrays. So he says, John, Jane Doe, array thirty-two. We want to get rid of that. We want to flatten it all out. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so that goes to the curry function. Um, or excuse me, that goes to the map function, which calls this map function and it will call the map with the bound um, you know flatten passed in yeah. right that's the function so, so the map with the function is referring to flatten which is obviously this right here so now we go to flatten and we call flatten on the inner array which is John Doe 30 and then 
the address and the coordinates. So we're going to do that. Okay, and here's flatten array. So we're going to go over, have some fun in here. So we're going to reduce, first of all, the array is the, okay, and we're going to reduce with the accumulator and the value. The accumulator starts out at empty array, and then we're just going to concatenate to this empty array. We're going to add these values depending on whether they're, so the first one, uh, uh, excuse me, the first, excuse me, the first one is going to be John Doe, the second one is going to be 30. So both of those are going to hit here, and it's just going to add to the accumulator John Doe and then 30. And the next one we'll have to make a recursive call. So Val is John Doe. Now the accumulator is John Doe. And the next one is going to be 30. So the accumulator is John Doe 30. And now the next one is going to make a recursive call to, uh, <clears throat> to flatten array. And it's going to say, okay, array, array is this one, two, three main street. So it's the, it's the, uh, address. So it made that, it made that anonymous call here. If array dot is array value, yes, it, it is. It's the one, two, three main street, it's the address, which is an array. So then concat flatten array value. So we're calling, we're, we're in the, the, um, we're in the uh, recursive call to flatten array. And we're now inside the, um, we're inside the address. 123 Main Street. So when we reduce over this, we're going to get the accumulator is an empty array right now. It's not even established right now because we haven't added anything to it, but it's going to start out as empty. And the value is going to be, well, we'll, we'll see that it's going to be the, the street. Okay. So AC is empty array, val is 123 Main Street. Okay, and now we're gonna set that. We're gonna we're gonna set that in the accumulator. Okay, so now the accumulator is one two three Main Street. And the next one is gonna be the city. Okay, so we've got one two three Main Street in the city. And then the next one is going to be the coordinates, which is another array. So we're gonna have a subsequent call here. So I go here. Accumulator is now an empty array for the subsequent call here. So is this, this um, value, uh, okay, now we're just, all right. <laughs> yeah, okay, so at this call right here, we were looping, we were looping over, we time travel back. We looped over, we got to the coordinates in the address and uh, we said, is it an array? Yeah, that checks out, it sure is. So let's call the concat with the recursive call to flatten array. So that brought us up to here. Now we're inside flatten array and now we're making another anonymous call here. And that's gonna um, put us right there. It's gonna be 52, which is the first coordinate so that's going to add that to the uh, accumulator inside of the uh, accumulator inside of the coordinates, and now we've got the second one. Well, I think maybe that. Uh, okay, now we have the second one. Okay. All right. So I think we dropped down into. We, I think that popped off the stack because we got everything. We returned everything. So. Um, now we're back into the address, I believe. Let's see. Okay, one, two, three, Main Street, some city. As the accumulator, the value is 52.1305. Okay, so now we're going to concatenate with our accumulator, which is one, two, three, Main Street, some city, we're gonna concatenate that array with the value array returned from the coordinates, which is 52, 13, a little Latin long. 
So that is going to give it an array which is um, flat. So now our accumulator. Oh. We flattened that array. We concatenated that. Let me see if I can go back in time. I think it popped off the stack already. Yeah, so I'm not able to go back and get it, but that's okay. Uh, now the accumulator, now we're back in the the um, the first um, array. John Doe, age, and then the val is gonna be, oh, here we go, here it is, okay. Well, so the address, so one, two, three, Main Street, city, Oh, it says array two. Oh goodness. Okay. Um, all right. So let's see. Array dot is array. Yes, it is. Okay, concat. I think this is where I need to do the concatenation. interesting okay I'll have to take a look at that all right so here we are back in, I, I want to do the flatten, really, so. Okay, so here we are. And <clears throat> we're gonna flatten these arrays. So let's see what we have. We've got John Doe and then an array, so we need to flatten that. We're gonna say what's the value here, John Doe. I'm gonna apply that. Loop over the next one. Thirty. This is actually right here too. So we'll just look at that. Okay. And the next, the next value is the address. So we're going to jump into uh, another flatten array recursive call. So there we are here. This next one. So the array is now the address. And this previous call will have a, uh, a reference to the depth zero or depth one, I guess, array. And then this one will have an, a, a reference to the uh, address array. And then the next call will have to the um, uh, a handle to the uh, the coordinates. So we'll loop over this. Main Street is the value. 
some city is the value. And now next value is the coordinates. So we're going to make an anonymous call to the, to the flattened array again. So here's the next flattened array. So these are the coordinates. So it's just going to loop over each one and return this array to the previous call. So this will, uh, this address uh, accumulator, the accumulator for the address will concatenate the uh, the accumulated value and which was returned by the coordinates. So we'll just do the next one. So loop over that. We got value 52, value 13. Okay, 52 and 13 is the array that's being returned. So we're going to pop this off the stack and go back to this array. So it's popped off. And now we've got the accumulated value, which is the address, and then the value to concatenate, which is the coordinates. So we'll concatenate this with that array, and you'll get a flat of four. Okay, array of four is the return value here. So the address and the coordinates. Okay, now we've got the accumulated value is all, all of them. Well, we still have to apply it. So now that was applied with, with the return, excuse me, with the return value. I guess it didn't bother worrying about the accumulator. It just returned the value of the flat array to here. So now you have, we're at the um, initial John Doe, um, you know, person. And the value to concatenate is the address. have John Doe and the, well, we've got all, everything, we've got everything, uh, all six values flat, flattened is a return value from those re recursive calls. So that address um, call will pop off the stack. And now we only have one flattened array call. We're back at the original with all, this looks, okay, it says, R3 John Doe array because oh, okay excuse me this R3 is the the original data passed in that's what I was, I was getting confused about okay so the return value is what we get out of that so that's going to be the flattened array so accumulator return value is, is okay while we're on the stack the return value is that so okay we'll return that all right so flatten we so we we flattened you know uh john doe now we can actually call it for jane as well so jane will be you know the data array is okay well i guess we don't have a a handle to that uh yeah it's this second piece of data that uh, that the map function is calling or calling it for okay anyway let's not confuse ourselves too much okay <clears throat> so this is gonna flatten do the exact same thing Basically returned uh, the map, the mapping to that first map call, which is here. Okay, so yeah, the way 
the way this works is you'll compose, which is that reduce, and it'll call the first one, and it binds it, and then, or excuse me, you know, it first it binds both of these here, partially applies them, and then when you call, when you pass the data in, first it um, does the map with the data, and it gets everything all you know prepared and returned and then we go through the reduce from compose and apply it so we'll apply it to the accumulator so the value is going to be this two-dimensional array of array of arrays flat arrays okay now we've got the next call which is build object so we're gonna map over the data array which is those two flat arrays now we're gonna map over this array this two-dimensional array of two arrays and for each array we're gonna pass we're going to use the build object function to map it. So as opposed to flatten, pass to map, we'll do build object, pass to map, okay, and we'll build each item. So we'll run through here, and we'll build each one. And then The, um, the function, the builder function, uh, build object will um, have that, it will apply it and then reduce and then you'll, it'll be accumulated. There's the data passed in, started out at, you know, and yeah, I just need to apply it. Okay. So now it'll log it'll log out what it returned, which is um, uh, yeah, the call to yeah, it'll it'll log it out. This is inside the log function. We can just go forward. And the, for some reason, you can't see that. But if I were to, uh, if I were to get rid of these breakpoints, or just go all the way through it and just say, um, JSON dot stringify. Composer data, uh, composer data, null to, and run this again, but without the breakpoints. to the schema. 